of all, um, I think it's seven tries you scored this season. I think that's the most you've ever scored in a in a season. What's changed? Has anything changed? What's uh, happened? What's clicked? They are just on the back of one of these malls, or you know, the malls every game. The boys are you know putting in good shifts, and I'm lucky enough to be the guy on the ball. Um, and yeah, just dot it down. I, not, I don't think any of them been too fancy. I don't think <laughs> many have been more than a couple of yards. So. Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty good. They all count though, don't they? That's exactly <laughs> that, exactly, yeah, no, definitely. Well, I think it's five without now. Are you starting to get a little bit of one you want to? Yeah, well, no, we haven't had a, yeah, we probably haven't, um, yeah, I'll, I'll have banged our malls in as much as we like to the previous week. So, um, yeah, maybe look to do that up at, up at Worcester and, um, yeah, hopefully I can poach them off the back of there. But, yeah. Is this the best season of your career so far, do you think? When you look at tries scored, appearances made, position in the league, all that sort of thing? Um, I don't know, I think, Definitely position in the league. Yeah, I think I've got altitude sickness have been this high. I mean, I've never been this, <laughs> never felt this before. Um, yeah, and I think, um, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, I've, I've, like any season, you have ups and downs. I've played some, you know, really good games. I've had some quieter games. And it's been like that in previous seasons. I think, I think the biggest thing for me is it's probably, maybe since that sort of breakthrough period I had at Worcester, it's probably been the first season I've really enjoyed in a long time. Like, and I think that's been the biggest change, maybe. The biggest, you know, scoring tries is great and all that. and. You know, winning the games and uh, it, yeah, equally is brilliant, but the, you've got to enjoy it. And I think that's that's where I've maybe helped my game a bit more this year. I've been a little bit more relaxed. I could go out and have some fun, and um, I think that enjoyment factor has been been really important. You talk with Worcester when, whenever you mention Worcester. There's a great big smile on your face. It, it, just from chatting now, it looks like you've got a great affection still for your first club. Yeah, definitely. I, it's, well, I, I owe them a lot. Like, I wouldn't probably wouldn't be here literally if it wasn't wasn't for them. You know, it was. They're the guys that spotted me and picked me up, and, and I, I mean a lot. It's a lot to change since I've been there. You know, it's a very, very different club. But you know, I've lived there for probably four or five years. Uh, went to college there and stuff as well. So um, yeah, I've got a lot of a lot of uh, you know connections in the area. A lot of friends still there. Some of the coaches that were there have moved on, but you know, I still feel um, you know, it's a great club. It's, it's a really good club. I, I enjoy going back there. Um, so it'll be, it'll be good to go back this weekend. You've you've gone back there a few times. Does it? Do, you know, does it get any? I'm not sure. Does it get any easier? Is the right way of saying it. It's not like a bereavement. So, do, do you still have that same kind of nerves when you're playing against your former club, or does it kind of ease off no, after how, so many years? Yeah, I think I think once you've played them once or twice. Yeah. Um, similarly with Gloucester this year. I mean, we played them uh, countless times. Yeah, we should. Uh, um, <laughs> it does sort of wear off a little bit. It just becomes without being you know another team sort yeah. of thing. And yeah, you, know, you prep the same in the week, and nothing really changes. But definitely that. That first time, I remember the first time going that about like playing for Gloucester against Worcester was quite a big thing, and similarly this year playing for Exeter. So, um, yeah, it, it's not too. I do look forward to going back. You know, the pitch is a bit different from when I was there, um, <laughs> but um, but other than that, it's, it's all pretty much the same. And this weekend, obviously, a, a very very important game for them. But nonetheless, you know, you guys are, are in, in in a title fight with Saracens as well, and you need the points. I would guess just as much as they do Worcester in their battle over Newcastle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, obviously. You said so Worcester in a tricky position. You know that that at the bottom, they're a desperate team wanting wanting wins, and you know the league table probably doesn't do them justice. Really, they play some really good rugby. They you know they, they like to attack. They've got a good defence. You know they, they've just missed out on a few wins, which you know they're the better team probably than, than the league shows. So I think you know, it's going to be a big challenge for us to go there, and, and we want to bang in a performance. Which, you know we, we we played pretty well last week against Sale. That was a tough away fixture. We've come through pretty well from that, so we want to take another step on and keep pushing forward and keep improving. I think, you know, what shall I say, going to top of top opposition, but, you know, we focus on what we can do well and if we can, you know, knock, knock our tries in nice and early and, and be physical in defence, then hopefully we can, you know, get a good win.